Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid. And before I start, do us a favour, slap that like button for me. I'd, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could help me out. Have uh, me and my co conspirator YouTube really get on well together. Oh, hold on. Even if you don't like it, press the dislike button. As long as some interactions. Why not slap some words down in the comment section as well? Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, for example, we've been having a discussion, or trying to have a discussion, about um, fishing and how it works in this game. And uh, as we've said before, we've got to check the weather. But checking the weather isn't as easy as it sounds. Um, because you need to actually find the ability to do so. Now, does this popcorn machine come apart? It does. Good stuff. Now, there's a computer back here as well, I noticed. And a clock. I could take the clock apart and the TV. Just uh, getting as much electrical done whilst I'm uh, searching for items. And let me just drop all that on the floor. Don't want it, don't need it. Let's take that clock down as well. Do we not have anything to eat? I guess not. Okay, let's uh, go through my exhaustible supply of chips. And we'll uh, take a look round. Oh, look, there's some more zombies. This road is, is synonymous with shed loads of zombies. But I'm kind of doing a calculated thing. Right. Coming out of the trees again. I really have found the nest, haven't I? Let's make sure no one's sneaking up on me. Which they're not. Good. My lot over there haven't spotted me yet. That's good. I felt things weren't going that well. They're just there. Okay, so what's this car park for? That's the police station. Ah. We got there quite quick. Um, And I'm tired again. Let's uh, take a... Awful risk here, Vader. Um, well, I'm just trying to think what's the best thing to do right now. Mm. Okay, I think I think uh, 
discretion is the better part of valor in this situation. As I'm getting tired, it is 18:40 as well, so it's going to get dark, and that's uh, that's an extra risk. So we'll head back to the rusty rifle. Just take a bit of time to to break out. I might actually just go. Where he came from. I'm just try to be as quick as I can because I understand that you know I've only got 15 minutes on here and. Uh, if it takes me forever to get somewhere, then uh, all you're doing is watching a running simulator. So I'm just uh, conscious of that fact and try to get myself there as quickly as possible. Maybe wait a little time before it gets dark. Or let it get dark, should I say. And then go to sleep so that it's nice and light in the morning. It's about... It's getting up to... There's a dead body in there, isn't there? You don't really want to sleep with a dead body, do you? Okay. So let's just uh, wait a bit of time. Eight o'clock will be fine, I think. My character does have an extra sleep trait, so he does sleep longer than normal. But the closer we get to five, okay, we'll be, it's going to be like good stuff. So one of the sensible things is, is that I could perhaps maybe just put a cut in and just go straight to uh, the bit and take out all the all the gumph. But I think some people kind of like the gumph. It's really odd, you know, how to how do you as a player. And, uh, and a streamer and a, and a, a video producer, uh, make sure that you create content for everybody. Why don't you pop something down in the old um, comment section? How do you like your uh, Project Zomboid content? And the more people who reply are, are the ones who are going to get listened to. So if, if you want me to do more cut content, as I do with, say, uh, my RimWorld, that's fine. But I, I kind of like the... I personally kind of like the realism of just being able to go through there. So so I'm not hiding anything. Everything is just like dirty mistakes on the plates and so forth. But, you know, some people might prefer a cut or two to uh, avoid some of the, uh, the gumph. Let me know what you think. And while you're at it, don't forget to press that like button. Did I put Authentic Peach's uh, mod on this one? Not 100% sure if I did. Hmm. Now, usually this back road tends to be a little bit safer, as most of the other zombies are on the dual carriageway at the top there. But, as you can see, we've, we've draw we seem to have drawn a lot of them away. And naturally, I'm hungry. So, let's uh, eat another packet of chips. But one of the major things it draws are vehicles. If you drive a vehicle up and down that, that road, you will find that place absolutely swamped with zombies. Speaking of zombies, here's a couple. Come on, you.
I wanted to make sure I'm not backing into another set of zombies. Because, in all fairness, because I've slept, the zombies will have moved. Nobody else around. Okay. Any of these guys got watches on them? One of them should have a backpack. There's a backpack lady. Duffel bag. Should I take the duffel bag? Go might do, actually, yeah. Uh, but I'll pop it in my other duffel bag for the moment. I won't carry it just yet. Now, we do have the police station to deal with. And last I checked, there was a, a large amount of undead police zombies in there. So, uh, oh, they finally got out. Literally just got out. Well, that's good for me, because that means I have the space to uh, beat them up. Still does seem to be quite a few in there, though. Oh. Now, the first question is, do I have another metal box? And the answer to that question is a big fat no. So, we're stuck with a wrench for the short term. I'll need the axe because I don't think I've been in this police station. I've actually tried the door. Whoa! Oh! Oh! That was close. Right. I suspect that that banging is the police officer. Oh, Christ. Going through here. So, what we're going to do is hopefully aim to clear out the. Um... Yeah, I thought it might be. Clear out this. Um... Police station, and then we'll leave it there for this episode. Now, does this door open? It does. Okay. Now, that's interesting. The other question is, do any of these guys... Oh, 
have a key on them. They don't. So I am going to have to smack the door. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to leave it there, guys. So just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. Please press that like button. It's just a massive, massive help to the channel and helps with the YouTube algorithm uh, and let them have a, uh, a cohabitual relationship that, uh, that means that everyone's happy. Uh, and don't forget, to, if you want to, press that subscribe button if you want to uh, get more from the channel. And press the bell icon if you want updates every time it goes through. It's just the way it works. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.